A rogue or unauthorized DHCP server is not always brought in by someone with malicious intent. Oftentimes it can be somebody who just accidentally brought in their home equipment, plugged it in, like a home office you know, router, access point, switch, and so forth, and has DHCP services enabled on it. So that would be an example of a rogue DHCP server as well. So to protect against that, a feature called DHCP snooping can identify any server type DHCP traffic and just say no. You can't come in. And this feature called DHCP snooping is implemented on our switches. And here's how it works. This is the access switch. Let's go ahead and draw it right here. And it's got some ports. And some of those ports go up here to clients. And those clients may be in different VLANs based on the configuration of those ports. And then we also have some trunks going off some ports down to core one and core two. And as it currently sits, this attacker or any device really could be acting as a DHCP server and they could be listening for DHCP discovers, which are going to the well-known port of UDP port 67. And if they are running some malicious or rogue DHCP server software, if they hear that broadcast, they could go ahead and respond and make an offer. So if the offer comes from one of these devices, it's very likely not gonna have the correct information about the DNS server or the default gateway or even the IP subnet. Or worse, it could be an attacker who is going to hand out IP addressing for the correct subnet, but it's going to lie about the default gateway to use and the DNS server to use. So what we're gonna do is we wanna stop any of that server response at the switch. And when we implement DHCP snooping, we tell the switch, hey, listen, any server messages, you know, traffic coming from a DHCP server, like the offers or the acknowledgements, so there's the Dora process, don't allow any of those server messages in on any ports by default for a VLAN where DHCP snooping is allowed. And that way this device, the Kali Linux box, it can be a rogue DHCP server or a malicious DHCP server or try to all at once, but every time it tries to do an offer or an acknowledgement, because DHCP snooping is enabled on the VLAN, the DHCP server responses won't be allowed in on gig zero slash three, they'll be stopped right there. And at that moment, we're preventing any rogue DHCP servers from having success on our network. Now we do have some real DHCP servers that are down here. So what we'd also wanna do is we'd wanna train this switch that the ports leading down to core one and core two, where the real DHCP servers are, that they are DHCP trusted ports. And DHCP trusted ports means that, hey, uh, we should expect inbound DHCP server messages on those ports. And that's how it works. So let's implement DHCP snooping on VLAN 20 here on this access layer switch. All right, so this is the access layer switch and we'll go into configuration mode. In fact, let's do a show IP DHCP snooping just to verify it's currently not enabled. So switch DHCP snooping is disabled. So let's go into configuration mode and we'll do an IP DHCP snooping. And then we'll enable it for VLAN 20 with the command IP DHCP snooping VLAN 20, enter. And then we'll do a show command again just to verify. So currently it's showing us that DHCP snooping is enabled and DHCP snooping is configured to be functional on VLAN 20. It also says that we have no trusted ports, which is a problem because if a client needs to get a DHCP address, uh, that request needs to be forwarded down to the multi-layer switches who would then respond to it. So we want to make 1 1, gig 1 1, and gig 1 2 trusted ports, which are willing to receive those DHCP server messages that are going back to the clients. So, to do that, here on the switch, we'll go into interface range for gigabit 1 slash 1 and all the way through 1 slash 2. And then we'll do IP DHCP question mark and snoop, <laughs> snooping and a question mark and trust. There we go. And question mark and boom, there it is. So, now if we do a that same command, show IP DHCP snooping. Here showing this that it's enabled, it's configured for VLAN 20, and then we have two ports, gigs 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2, which are considered to be trusted ports. And so if there are DHCP server messages coming up from core 1 or from core 2, this switch will not deny those, it'll allow those to go through. However, anybody else, including the Kali Linux box or anybody else as far as nodes on this network, will not have any success in sending in DHCP server messages DHCP snooping is going to cut them off right there at the edge. So let's test it out. Let's go ahead and power off PC20. And while it's powering off, let's capture on gig 0 slash 2. So I'll go to capture, specify gig 0 slash 2 where that PC exists. We'll specify we want to capture it. Click OK. Let me get that out of the way a little bit. I'll set it over here. And let's bring that PC back up. So we'll click on start and it shouldn't take long. So in fact, I saw in the background there, I saw some DHCP messages. Let's go ahead and stop the capture. 
And let me make this full screen and a little bit bigger. All right, and then let's just do a display filter for DHCP. All right, so there's our discover, an offer, the request, and the acknowledgement. It looks like we have another offer. Oh, look at that. We had an offer from dot two hundred, which is core two, and we had an offer from dot one hundred, so they both weren't needed. So if we look at the address that was given, that PC on the right was given the IP address of dot one sixty eight. Now, the other really cool thing that happened, let me go ahead and close this. As a result of doing DHCP snooping, this switch, let's take a look at the access layer switch. Let me bring it in. This switch, if we do a show IP DHCP snooping, and then we do a question mark, check this out. This is so amazing. It's actually building a table by eavesdropping and all that traffic, and it's doing a mapping of the layer two addresses and the layer three addresses. And that's because of DHCP snooping. So DHCP snooping does a couple of major benefits for us. One is it protects against rogue DHCP servers being able to send traffic on our networks, but it also builds this table so that if we want to leverage this table regarding the layer three and layer two addresses, we could also implement another feature called ARP inspection to make sure that devices aren't lying about their layer two addresses with ARP messages. And that feature of ARP inspection relies on this information regarding knowing what the correct layer two address is behind an IP address. So in the next video, we'll take this to the next logical step as I introduce and walk you through the configuration of a hardening technique called dynamic ARP inspection. So we'll see you in the next video for exactly that. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribe right here to get the latest information from CBT Nuggets. And if you're new to or considering a career in the world of IT, head on over to CBT Nuggets and sign up for a free trial.